Hello once more. Thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to quickly talk about how to install point curves and I'm really excited to start talking about point curves. It's something I've been using without really realizing it for a long time and now starting to dive a little bit deeper into how to create my own and how to share them. So I'm really excited. So we're just going to talk about how to install them because it's not quite as direct as installing presets, but it's super simple once you know where to go. Uh, this is our Lightroom develop module, and this photo is pretty much ready to go if I would like it to be. It's got presets applied, it's pretty finished. Here we're going to look at the point, the curves that we have installed right now, point curves, and it's just the three standard ones that come with Lightroom. So I haven't installed anything extra on here. I don't have any of the matte curves that are in the shop right now installed on here. So we just have the three that come with Lightroom. So the first thing you want to do is actually close out of Lightroom. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to skip the backup for now. And here's the secret you have to know what folder to go into. These right here are the files that are included in the zip file of the Presets Paradise Matte Curve collection. I simply named them PP, Matte 1, 2, 3, and 4. And when you unzip that zip file, you're going to find these four files in there. They're XMP file types. And what you want to do is you want to go to this one specific folder and just drop them in there. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's this that I'm going to show you right now. If you're on a PC, it's a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have these pop up on the screen for you right now so you know exactly where to go if you're on a Mac or on a PC. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to go to your user folder, library, application support, Adobe, camera raw, curves. And then you're going to drop these files into that curves folder. It's that simple. It really is just a matter of knowing what folder you have to put them into. Then when you open up Lightroom again, let's go ahead and open that up and they should magically appear under the pull down menu for the point curves. So here we are once more, this photo, it's lovely, pretty much done, but we want to apply a point curve and here they are. Those are the four point curves that we just dropped into that folder. Now you want to make sure that if you're dropping them into the folder, you restart Lightroom so that it can acknowledge what's been added in there. Because if you have Lightroom open, you add them into the folder, there's a good possibility Lightroom's not going to pick it up instantly. You need to quit it and then start it back up. And now you have them in here, they're ready to go. You can play around with those and see which one fits your photo needs and tweak them as needed, but it's that simple. So I'm going to once again post the folder paths on the screen for you. Please screenshot them, jot them down somewhere on paper, whatever you need to do, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. It's super easy. Have fun playing with point curves, and I'll see you guys next time.